here is a uh, cool little trick with three fish. Okay. To be exact, the three little fish crackers. Watch. But to make all three travel from one fish bowl to another, here comes the first one, just a shake like this. It jumps from this fish bowl over to this fish bowl. That's one. First one, across. Watch, number two. Just a shake, number two goes across. Watch the last one. From here, these just two. This last one, here we go. Three, two, wait a second. I'm gonna make it even harder for this fish to go. Because when I take the fish and put them in my mouth, you see it's up inside there. Okay? Put it up in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna even <clears throat> swallow the fish all the way down my stomach. I'm gonna go from my stomach just like this. Mm. All the way from my stomach into my hand. That's fish one, fish two, and fish three. One of the biggest challenges Magic faces, as I'm always saying on this channel, is to get people to care, to get them to be interested in what's you're going to do for them, with them, whatever. And this is a very minor variation on a classic coins across. Now, it's usually done with coins, and people care about money to a point, but I'm telling you right now, people care about these darn little fish crackers much more than any coins. This is, of course, great for kids. It's a wonderful trick to do for kids, but it also is great uh, for adults. It really is great in a lot of different contexts. There's so much emotion and so much fun to it. So I'm going to reveal the secrets, some of the simple handling, a couple of ideas around this in just a second. First, the question of the week. And also, I'm going to announce the UFO winners on this video for all of you who um, entered a contest or entered left a comment last week for the UFOs. Um, I'm going to get, announce the 12 winners in just a couple of minutes. At the same time, here's the question because this week I'm going to be giving away my Surreal Magic. Now Surreal Magic, it's got about 20 or I think maybe 25 tricks on the project. Uh, they're all using ordinary objects so I thought it was a nice match with this uh, fish trick. All you, They're not really card tricks, they're not really coin tricks, they're sort of tricks with other stuff. So it's called Surreal Magic. I'm going to give away 12 next week. This is your chance to enter this week though. All you have to do, imagine if you can make a cracker vanish and appear if you want to amaze some people. This cracker could appear anywhere in the world. Where would you like this cracker to appear? A little fish cracker impossibly appeared. So later on, people say, I was at a magic show. This guy made one of these little crackers vanish and am amazed everyone, blew everyone's mind by making the little cracker appear. Where? Where would be an unforgettable place? Try to be original. Don't just go with the crass. That's something I have a lot to learn still on. Okay, so leave a comment. Where does the fish impossibly reappear for your chance to win uh, my Surreal Magic project? Okay, now let's jump in here. Uh, so this is a variation. It uses, this, you know, really there's lots of different ways you can do this. Uh, one of the, my favorite ways to do it is just with the good old, uh, uh, good old shuttle pass, right? We're here. Now the first thing is, of course, you can. Uh, I want to say right now, I also have done it many times with these small crackers. You know, it's such a great restaurant trick to do with some little crackers too. But for this, you're going to use uh, four. You actually use four all along. That's what I love about the ending is it helps you clean things up, and you get so you got four crackers here, and you can start by having three crackers. And I like having them in a the container. Okay, you can even have a smaller container if you wanted to. I just love, looks kind of hygienic. I mean, you're handling food. It's kind of nice to come out here and go, here's a trick. And the audio, <coughs> excuse me, nicely pulls everyone's focus like this. And you get to show your hands empty. Now, magicians will care about this. Lay people won't. But And notice what I can do is I can do this, show these, okay? Then when I put this in my pocket here, I can easily get this in my little palm if I want, okay? Another way to do it, of course, is to have all four in there. So here's something... Uh, with some uh, fish here and as you kind of dump them from one hand back to the other uh, What you've been able to do is secretly get one of them in finger palm. I think it's much stronger though uh, If you simply start out like I said with uh, three You can have them trapped in there say a joke about you know here There's a, a fish bowl with no water inside whatever this can be in your right pocket Like I said show your hands really empty They can take a look at that and see that there are three but don't say there are only three say so here's a trick with three fish Okay, we're going to use also a uh, fishbowl, but this isn't a fishbowl. The fishbowl is going to be my hands. 
This goes into your pocket while you get there. You get this here. Very easy, very simple, right? Then you can put these on the table if you want, okay, like that. And there are three, like this. Now notice the way this works beautifully too, this is a fun trick to do for Zoom, right? You can very fairly show three, put this off camera here, and do what I did, which is when you put it off camera is when you get this, okay? So now you've got your three. Now you can very fairly show, and people can see that uh, to all extents and purposes, or people can fairly see that there's three, the guys got just three, and this is called a uh, simple false transfer. Three here, three over there, they see just three, you could go back and forth all day if you had no life, showing them. And all I'm doing is as I turn the hand over, I'm letting uh, one of the fish remains in finger palm, okay? So this one's here, I'm going to turn my hand over, and I'm going to curl my fingers just enough to hold this in the hand. Then this hand, which already has one, is going to catch the other two. Boom. There's two, okay? Now, a different technique is I can keep this in a little finger one, or I can put my thumb directly on this one. It's right there. Literally, I can put my thumb on that as I turn my hand over, and I'm going to hold it just for a second in place while I dump those two on this one. Boom, like this. And then at this point, if you keep your hand here, it'll be awkward, but if you just relax the hand, curl the fingers and drop it to the table, Notice, I can do that technique, Just and you can use your finger here, showing just three there, turn these over, just three there, re looks just like three, and you're hiding the one every time. So, I'm here. Now, I feel more comfortable finger palm, or thumb palming with my right hand. So what I'm going to do is these three, I'm going to curl them up, and I'm going to get one of these, basically do my finger and thumb, and as I curl my finger, uh, my hands, I'm going to push this little one into the thumb palm. It goes into what's called thumb palm, right there. Shake my hands, and notice I'm no longer here. I'm tilting slightly. I want a little cover here, so I'm going to let them see the back of this hand. So I'm not here. I'm adjusting. I'm here. I squeeze, open my hand, let this one drop to the table. That's number one. I'm going to push this back just to here, here. And then when I open my hand, so I open this hand, then I open these, so let these two drop here, and all focus is here. Nobody realizes I've kept one of my thumbs. I pick up the first one. I say, it's that's number one, has traveled across. I mean, look how fair that looks. That's number one. It's showing the right hand empty here. Boom, and I'm going to pick these up. And all I'm doing is switching. I show this, and I'm going to turn. Now, this is David Roth's shuttle pass. I've referred to it a few times on the channel. I'm going to put the side of my fingers, going to get against here. The moment this contacts, I'm going to turn. I'm going to keep this one in my little palm here while turning, and just showing that one. Then turn the hand over and close, put this one in. Nobody sees I've got that other one there because these curled fingers are opening to receive there. So it looks like I've shown the one's gone across, but now there are two there. Pick up these two. Again, put one in that thumb palm up in here. Just to squeeze, open the hand showing two there and one there. Or you could open this one first showing one there and two there, right? And then to finish, you can either pick up these two, add the third one and put everything in, or you could pick up these two and do that transfer we talked about at the beginning, where you say, watch, watch the last two, showing this, putting that in there, looks so fair. Say the last one, and you could either go right into it, I'm going to put it in my mouth, or you could take it, put your fist around, say you're going to make it travel, three, two, wait a second, a little dramatic pause there, change up the pacing. Three, two, wait a second, I'm going to make the journey, I'm going to make this one have to swim, you know how trout swim upstream? This one's going to have to swim, it's going to swim, this show fish is going to swim a whole lot further, it's going to have to swim a lot further to end up in my hand, because I'm not going to just hold it in the other hand, or the other fish bowl, if you will, I'm going to put it right here in my mouth. Now, what you might want to do, look, i got a few crackers, is you're here, rather than obviously showing it on the tongue, okay, Rather than really, what you might want to do is be more subtle with it. Because if you think that chewing this and swallowing this and then it's there, you want to be a bit more subtle. You would say, watch the last one. I'm going to put it in my mouth. Chew it up. I'm going to swallow it. Mm. There. I swallow like that. No, no, I really did put it in my hand. Or you could do this, blow, show these three, then show the hand. So depending on your personality, you can you don't want to confuse people, but you could play with it a bit rather than explicitly putting it on the tongue, just pretending to put it in and make it look like it's in your hand and it's gone there, whatever, like that. Like that. Ultimately, it's a version of the coins across or an old thing they used to call two in the hand, one in the pocket. And it's a lot of fun. It's very magical. I love the cleanup at the end that rather than having to get rid of that last one by lapping it or palming it or getting your sleeve or bribing a dear friend, please go to the bank, take this fish. What you can do instead is just put in your mouth and add a little comedy and boom like that. All right? Now, I said I was going to help the UFO winners. 
UFO winners, U12 won UFOs. Check it out at sankeymagic.com. Very cool trick, UFOs. These discs fly all over the place um, using these very cool prompts. The winners of UFOs are Hickory Strength. I kid you not, Hickory Strength. Gregor Magic. Chris Olkow Olkowski. Chris Olkowski. Kevin Fleetwood. Mike Crombaz. Mike Crombaz. Jason Kaysen. Oh, with a C. Pete Meach. John Jacob. Venom underscore 3224. Venom. Venom? Venom. Venom. I think it's Venom. Sorry. 3224. Angel Garcia. Damian Boland. And Joseph Hernandez. You guys won. As always, send an email to my team. Let them know, hey, I won. Jay just said my name. Let them know your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and they will send out a UFOs with all the gimmicks and all the props and the tutorial to you. Don't forget about the question of the week. If you could have this cracker vanish and appear anywhere during a show, watch the little fish, boom, it's gone, and now I want you to see there, there, there it is, wherever the fish reappears. Leave a comment, let me know what would be a cool, a mind-blowing place for the fish to reappear. Um, also, please subscribe. We're getting almost, almost getting close to 400,000. So please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to take your magic to the next level, because most of the stuff here on the channel is beginner level stuff, you want to go to intermediate or, oh my God, super advanced stuff, the pro level, or the tricks that'll truly take your understanding of magic to a whole other level, check out InsideDeception.com. It's my exclusive training site. It's the world's number one training site for people to take their magic and mentalism super seriously. Uh, memberships just start at $9.95, so please subscribe to this channel. Over 800 videos, next level tutorial, a lot of exclusive stuff on Inside Deception. We'll do it over there. Check out Inside Deception, subscribe to the channel. Have a beautiful day.